Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are recovering from whatever that situation is that you went through. You are starting to heal from it. You're very, very focused on yourself. You've got the two sons over here and focused on, uh, you know, the future and, and making sure uh, that you get your independence. So this is what you're focusing on. You're moving away from difficult situations. You can see, um, you know, you've got that sun, that uh, Venus and um, Mars over here. So you're putting a lot of, in, um, you know, uh, energy into uh, gaining your independence and personal freedom as well. And focusing a lot on yourself. <coughs> you might be dealing with some health issues as well. Now, I'm just showing that there are two uh, cards for health issues here in this deck. So please watch out for your health. Uh, you know, seek medical attention if you need to. So uh, in the past, you've got uh, the oppression card over here. So you were in a situation that was very oppressive, uh, you know, very restrictive. You've got that sun, restrict, uh, sun restricted by Saturn. So, you know, whatever it was really restricted you, whatever that relationship was. Um, but, you know, you are now starting to heal from it. You've got Mercury doing a lot of um, self-improvement, also doing a lot of thinking and, you know, maybe... Um, venturing out on your by yourself and a lot of healing you've got that caduceus card over here um and whatever you're thinking you're you're mentally healing from that situation like i said going to the future watch out for any health issues you've got two cards over here so this is very important and you've got the opportunities card over here so new opportunities will be coming in for you uh that will help you move so there's a lot of gain and you know um um I think happiness as well because you've got that Venus and the Sun, so a lot of self-love being, uh, you know, once you start focusing on yourself, in, uh, focusing on your confidence, it looks like uh, a lot of opportunities will come your way. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Arcus Arcanium Tarot um, for the main read. I put this deck in the description box. It is quite a rare deck. It is out of print, I think. Uh, um, but I have put it in the description box in case you're interested in buying it. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck got that four of swords over here so this is trying to get over a very difficult situation that you went through there might have been legal issues that you had to deal with as well the four of swords is recovering uh you know from any kind of uh, problems and pressures and and stress related illnesses it looks like there's a new offer coming in for you over there as well so uh, you know as you're trying to recover it looks like something new is going to be coming your way um and you know um, you you've got your freedom now it seems like you know you've got a lot of birds in the background over there it's so a lot of freedom that you're dealing with, but you're also looking at things very, very carefully. So whatever new offer comes in, uh, maybe right now you can't see it because you've got this man's back turned to this woman. Um, so although there's somebody there in the background, you haven't really taken notice of it. Or you're not, you know, you may be ignoring uh, any kind of offers that are coming in at this moment because you're still dealing with all that stress, anxiety and all the problems that you had to deal with in the past. You're still um, thinking about it quite a bit. You're still very, very focused on the loss that you went through. Now, you know, you had gone through a very, very difficult situation. You can see there's that nine of swords, uh, you know, and then you've got that five of, nine of rods and the five of swords. So the nine of swords, uh, nine of rods is about, you know, lots of fighting and arguing and having to defend yourself. And it seems to be one battle after the other. And the nine of um, uh swords uh sorry the five of swords over here is you you were dealing with some kind of third party situation and you were in battle with them it was very vindictive behavior lies betrayal stabbing in the back kind of thing and you know you'd reach some kind of stalemate there was maybe some kind of legal um situation that you dealt with, with this person so this was a very very traumatic situation and there was a lot of problems and there was a lot of drama and there was a lot of lies deception vindictive behavior and you know you you were at that point where, you know, you are tired of every single battle that seems to be coming in because you seem to have been fighting a lot of battles with this person. 
and there was a lot of drama as well that went in and there was a lot of lies and cheating and deception now um in the past you've got the sun card over here so things are starting to look up for you you are starting to move on you're working very hard on something and you're focusing on that there might have been a new relationship that even came in for you uh that is or even a new friendship uh but there's certainly been a lot of clarity that's come into your life um and maybe this is now starting to shift the energies of all that negativity that you went through you might have also had a legal situation that you had to deal with and you you know it seems like maybe you have been victorious in it because you've got this ace of swords and this eagle taking control of that toxic situation so you may have cut off people from the past or may have cut off this person from your life uh, and that's how you're dealing with this person because they're very toxic this is this big snake over here so you know you have got taken control and maybe you have you know completely cut them out of your life so you've got that seven of swords so whatever that person was about was always it was about lies deception deceit uh you can see with it's the seven of swords and this is a really nasty card um you know a, a lot of manipulation going on and maybe even manipulation of the legal system uh, through lies and deceit so you had to deal with that so going to the future, you've got the high priestess or the uh, the high priest or the hierophant. So you have changed your philosophy. This is the card that is ruled by uh, Taurus. And, you know, you are looking now for any relationship that will give you a commitment. So you're looking for something long term. You are having things starting to be revealed to you. You can see that um, veil is starting to move over here. Uh, you can see there's freedom over here. You can see, um, you know, this person is very much in charge. There's the sort of truth over here. So you are, you know, you are moving towards that phase where you want, uh, you know, the truth to come to light. You want things to be revealed to you and they are starting to be revealed. And, you know, you're changing your philosophy in life. This is also about, uh, you know, uh, if you're having struggling to get through this particular problem it's good to get some advice and uh, get some direction in life as well get some um, you know maybe even seek some professional counseling if you need it now you're still dealing with this uh, difficult energy you've got this uh, two of swords over here so maybe you know there's a problem in communicating with this person uh, maybe there's um, that communication as uh, is completely over uh, there's a stalemate kind of situation this whatever you've been dealing with has not moved forward or it's not moved backward there's been no progress there's also been no communication um, and there might be still some legal issues that you are trying to sort through over there and you can see there's a battle of uh, wills there's a battle of power maybe this person that you were dealing with was very very dominating you can see this man's pointing the way both these people are equally matched in power. Uh, so there's a power struggle going on over here. And the, this person's trying to bully that person into doing what they want. And you're not backing off. You can see she's got a hand on that man's uh, wrist over there. So you are not backing off. You are standing your ground now and you're not going to be uh, taken advantage. Even here, it seems like you're standing, standing your ground. You're not backing down anymore. So whatever legal situation you might be dealing with, you're standing up for yourself and whatever uh, power struggle you have, uh, you are taking control and you are not allowing this person to dominate you anymore. And you're also waiting for things to change. You feel like you made a lot of sacrifices within that relationship. It did not pay off. There was a lot of suffering that you went through. So that is why you have, you know, you have learned a lot with the high priest. It's about, you know, knowing a lot, seeing the bigger picture as well. And you are now taking a stand and you're not backing down from whatever you believe in. So going into the future, you've got the strength card over there, uh, the eight of swords and the five of rods. So the strength card is taking control of a very difficult person, a difficult situation. So you will be able to conquer that particular problem. Uh, you know, you have the confidence and you have the power to be able to do it. Um, you've also got, you know, you've got the eight of swords over here. So you are still, you know, dealing with uh, whatever's going on. You still, you know, whatever this, uh, you are still have got some ties to this person and uh you know you, there's still a lot of arguments maybe with this person uh you've got that five of rods uh, you all don't see eye to eye as well and whenever you all speak to each other there's a lot of drama and maybe this person is very very aggressive as well and maybe you were very victimized within this particular situation you're still feeling very very trapped uh, there might be some kind of compromise that you need to make, but you're still dealing with some kind of legal issues as well that haven't gone away. So there were lots of legal problems as well within this, and maybe you had to make some kind of sac sacrifice. Whatever there is, there, there, you seem to be very tied up by some kind of legal issue. The hands and the feet are bound over here. 
So you are very disempowered or feeling very disempowered in this particular situation. And every time you encounter this person, there's a lot of fighting going on and that seems to disempower you even more. But you are trying to get that strength back and you're trying to make a comeback after going through a very, very difficult situation. So you're trying to heal from whatever's going on. But there's been so much of fighting, so much of arguments, so much of lies and deception. And this has really attacked your confidence quite a bit. But you're starting to recover slowly because you're standing your ground. So this is the first step into getting your personal power back. And that strength card is coming back, which is advising, you know, stand up for yourself and you will be able to sort things through. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So you've dealt with a very, very difficult situation. It might still be ongoing, but you're starting to make a recovery right now. You're starting to stand up for yourself and, you know, you're, um, you have been feeling very disempowered, but it looks like you're getting over this slowly. You've got the King of Raphael. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Now, there is somebody around you that is going to be helpful for you. Uh, this could be an advisor, somebody that you uh, can trust, you can speak to. This is also about maybe seeking some kind of uh, uh, um, counseling, some kind of advice. It's even seeking you know, medical advice as well to get through this. I mean, you might be going through some stress-related illnesses. Um, and, uh, you know, you're trying to deal with things as well. So this is about getting that support. This could be a water sign person. This could be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person that is there standing for you, or even a father figure, somebody that you could rely on. You've got the page of Michael over here, which says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents thoroughly. So this could be something legal coming in, some kind of official news coming in uh, for you as well. So um, be aware of that. You might be, have some kind of uh, uh, legal news, to, uh, you know, you've been dealing with legal issues with this relationship and it looks like some kind of legal news coming in for you and you've got the nine of gabriel over here stay determined and move forward be prepared for any possibility so this is also the nine of uh, rods that's being reflected here so you're going to have to stand up for yourself whatever people throw your way you're going to have to actually you know draw from your reserves of power uh, really from your confidence don't let yourself down uh, believe in yourself and move forward and this, you know, this is the final battle, it seems, because you're ending that cycle. You're close to ending that cycle, and it's about to, you know, you're about to be freed from this particular situation. So whatever, uh, you know, problems you are facing, it's now coming to an end. The Nine of Gabriel, the Nine of Rods is close to the end. It's close to the ten where everything ends and a new cycle begins. So you're, you, you know, it's, this is the last, this is the last stand that you need to make up. Uh, against this person and um, you know show your power show your strength of character with this uh, strength card you will be able to conquer whatever problem you are dealing with so dealing with very very difficult problems uh, but you will be able to recover and please watch your health um, you know if you have any issues uh, please uh, seek medical attention um, so thank you so much for watching and all the best and oh happy birthday as well Taurus uh, thank you for watching take care now goodbye